What's up, y'all? It's Dubby, and I'm back with part five of the Green Bay mini scheme. And this one is going to be a bomb that beats every single coverage. So in order to get the next mini scheme I'm going to put out, go ahead. I want to get this one to 200 likes. This is probably the best play that y'all can pick up and score touchdowns with against your friends, online, whatever you need touchdowns to score against, this is the play you need. So go ahead, hit that like button. Of course, hit the sub button. And that's PA Dagger out of Green Bay doubles on. And this sets up the same way. You want to make sure that your two wide receivers are to the short side of the field. That's paramount in running this play. So you got to make sure your tight end is to the wide side and your two wide receivers are to the short side. You can flip it either way and you want your fastest player running this post. Now this happens a lot faster in regs than it does in salary cap because you obviously have a 95 speed wide receiver in Gabriel compared to just 91 right now on Mutt. So there you go. It goes ahead and kills cover four. So people that think it's cute because the new patch is out. Oh, they fixed the game. I can sit in cover four and stop everything. This is the play you need to get them out of the cover four and back into different zones that you can beat with the corner route. You can beat with the C routes and stuff like that. You don't have to I mean, rely on somebody sitting in cover four to stop you. This is something that bang gets them out of that. And one thing I learned about Madden for years, when someone wants to sit in cover four, you hit them with this one time. Night, night. They don't want to sit in cover four ever again. They'll be all the way out of it. And this is certainly a play you have to mix in. Now, here you go. We see we got pressure, and we were able to hit the in route. That's why I like to put the drag in the in route, obviously. So, it's things you can throw if you get pressure. Because this play certainly takes a long time, and it's something that gets me in trouble sitting here waiting for this to develop. So, you got to be careful. You can't lean on this play all the time because if you get pressure, you're going to get sacked. And another thing you have to realize about this play, you want to stay in the pocket. This play will test your pocket presence, make you be able to, you know, become a better pocket player. And that's cover three getting burnt. Because if you roll out one way or the other, it's crazy. But it definitely, it changes the angle on the throw. And it changes how the safeties play. So you want to stay in the pocket to maximize the throw and make it as easy as possible. If you roll out, the throw will be longer. It'll come from a different angle. And the safeties will be able to get to it. So ideally, you want to sit right here in the pocket. And this is mainly used for against three man and two-man rushes that people want to play a lot more coverage, and this will get them out of it. PA Dagger, I found this play, and like I said, in New York, I played six games in a tournament, and I probably scored eight touchdowns running this play for people that want to sit in 3-3-5, want to sit in dollar, whatever they want to do to try to get you to throw picks in the coverage, this is how you take the top off. Now, this worked with Seattle perfectly, and obviously here I'm using the Falcons with 95-speed Gabriel. But in Mutt, you probably want to use John Ross. You probably want to use Brandon Cook, somebody like that. Like I said, in Mutt, it does take a little bit longer, and you need to have patience and great pocket presence. But this is certainly a play you need to mix in with your scheme and go ahead and score those one-play touchdowns and make people afraid to run cover four. That's the reason we run it. So please hit the like button. Hit the sub. I'm going to bring tons more content for you guys out of different playbooks. Comment on what you exactly want to see, and I will do it for all of y'all. Thank y'all. I'm out of here.